Hello, my friends, and welcome to my channel, Kibi's Collectibles. My name is Pam, and we are headed to Goodwill today for another fun shop along. I love thrifting for home decor and things that I can resell. If you enjoy all things thrift, please consider subscribing to my channel. Tap the bell and set it to all. That way you will always know when I upload a new video. Now let's get into Goodwill and see what we can find. First up is this yellow mug. The color caught my eye and it's really in nice condition. It looks like a souvenir piece from Mexico. Take a look at these glasses with the matching picture. They are all hand painted with images of ingredients for a Bloody Mary cocktail. How fun are these? They are made by Bella Casa, and yes, the pitcher has a big crack. I'm not sure about this piece, but I love the handles on the sides. I'm thinking maybe it's a salad plate, but I'm not sure. The muted colors of the flowers and the gold along the edges made it such a lovely piece. I picked this duck up thinking it looked odd. Why was it shaped this way? Maybe it is a piece of wall decor? I'm not sure. I'm a Leo, so I noticed this trivet on the bottom shelf. It wasn't exactly the Leo zodiac sign in my opinion, but on the back, notice the first line and then the handwritten addition. The lion, the sign of the king or queen. I love this vintage desk organizer or it could be called a valet. It's in pretty good condition. Oh, look at these fun mugs. The Fox is a threshold brand from Target with a chippy. This cool cat is a no-name brand and it has a chippy. And this chimpanzee mug is from World Market and has the arm handle, which I think gives it a 3D effect. Fun fact about me, I don't drink coffee out of a mug, or tea for that matter. Instead, I use my mugs for my cereal. Look at this gorgeous plate. I love the combo of the pink and gray flowers. This plate had a big chip, so I left it behind. Look at these cute teacups. That's such a cute retro pattern on them. They are called Encore and are made by Sango. I found this beautiful mid-century modern red and gold Goddess Buddha set of drinking glasses. Most of them looked a little faded, probably from too many times in the dishwasher, but they were nice and heavy with no chips or cracks. Check out this glass ashtray with a leather bottom. Definitely mid-century modern. 
Oh, it looks like Susan decided to get rid of her Walt Disney World Milk Glass Irish Coffee Mug. This is vintage and would be hard to sell since it is personalized, but if another Susan comes along, then she is going to score big with this fun mug. Get out there, Susan, and go get your mug. This lady caught my eye, but you could tell she was definitely not high quality like a Yadro piece just by looking at her hands. She was lovely though, and I loved her black dress. Speaking of hands, what are these? I was intrigued and did a little research on the spot. They are made by Luisa Designs, and I don't think the company is in operation anymore. The fist could be used maybe as a pen holder. I'm not sure. What are your ideas? What would you use these pieces for? Y'all, look at these vintage candles. Oh my gosh, they are darling. They still had old candle wax in them and I carried them around for a while, but I decided not to get them at the last minute, which I regret. I found this sweet little Precious Moments figurine of a boy in a Santa suit. I love the soft color of the Santa suit on this one. I found this Fire King Milk Glass Cream and Sugar set. It has the swirl pattern and the sugar was missing its lid and the gold trim looked a little bit worn. Someone is going to love finding those. I saw this vintage clock and immediately thought of Carol from My Blessed Nest. She collects vintage clocks, and this one had a beautiful image of flowers on the face, and it was made by West Clock. Unfortunately, it didn't work, so I left it behind.
These pictures by the Donald Art Company were so creepy to me. They had a lot of stains and I just couldn't get past the green frames. This one, she only has the irises of her eyes, no pupil. Just a strange set of pictures to me. Can you see them? Yes, right there in the bottom of the linens, hiding. Someone was trying to be sneaky, but I found them. All those years of looking for Easter eggs as a child finally paid off. These are vintage Fenton Hobnail Milk Glass salt and pepper shakers with that scalloped base. They have a chrome lid and are so beautiful. I really like these false craft bowls with the handle. I think they are soup bowls, and wouldn't they be perfect for chili on a cold night or a nice potato soup? Mm -mm. I found this Marlboro belt buckle. It's made out of brass with the date 1987. Not a lot of value there, so I left it behind. I found this lovely milk glass ashtray with hand-painted ivy leaves. Some of the paint was missing, unfortunately. But I did spy a matching ashtray out of the corner of my eye. This chimpanzee mug was definitely going home with me. I thought it was cute and fun, and I loved the 3D arm handle. Speaking of 3D, I picked up the two pieces of hand pop art. These two hands work great as an overnight phone stand or a recipe book holder. The fist is not deep enough to hold pins or wide enough to hold a drink, so I may try a tea light and just experiment until I find something that works. What are your suggestions? I bought the bison and I will add that one to my little collection that I have growing. I am sure that you guessed I would purchase these beautiful Fenton Milk Glass Hobnail Salt and Pepper Shakers. They do have one small chip on the scalloped edges at the bottom. But if you are just going to display these, then it can be turned to the back. They are still gorgeous. That is all that I purchased on this trip, and I thank you for shopping along with me today. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. As always, thank you for coming along with me today, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.